What's up, everybody? Garrett over, uh, you know, American Muscle HD, and I'm actually at, uh, I'm pretty sure my, my buddy Jerry's new shop that he just opened, uh, so let's see if he's here. Um, I don't know, I guess this is the right spot. Hardline Customs, or Hardline is the name of the... What do you want? Whoa, whoa. Jerry? Yeah. Why so hostile? Well, you never know who it is. Maybe it Come on, you know who it is. <laughs> what up? Come on in. All right. So what's going on? Oh, you know, uh, been hanging out, cutting metal today. You yeah, know? yeah. All right. So I kind of think I messed up the name. The name is just Hardline, or is it Hardline Customs? Hardline Customs. Hardline Customs. All right. Follow them, or follow him on Instagram at Hardline LLC. Is the Instagram name? But yes, it's Hardline Customs. Yeah. So, boom. Here's the lineup of cars that are here currently at the shop: the '67 El Camino, correct, cr formerly known as the SEMA vehicle of 2019, and yeah, the El Campino. El Campino. Uh, I'm I'm really excited for you to get those custom badges made for it yeah, because those are gonna, gonna be, be cool. dope. Yep. So it says obviously El Camino right now, but because you can't see it, it doesn't have his full thing going on right now, but this tonal cover comes up and there's like, you know, uh, netting on the side and there's an actual bed in the bed and it's a camper. So El Campino, there you go. Play on words. So you got that, built that for your uh, friend Jana. Uh -huh. It was her father's vehicle. Um, he passed away and it was a lifelong thing of his to have a project car, SEMA car. Yeah, and done, done right. Yep. So and that's you made what it. we did. There you go. It's not done yet, but. Yeah, we got a few things. A few things know, like left. You come home and, of course, I broke an actuator and, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Stuff I mean, happens. You know. Stuff happens. And we got my car. Everybody, everybody pretty much knows the story on it. Yep. It's uh, got a couple more weeks until it goes off to the interior, and we're going to do a whole separate video on some of the things we got. I already talked about it in the first vlog of, of things we got to get done on it. Um, Things kind of got backed up with the acquisition of this new building, but it's fine because I'm glad my boy Jerry's got his shop. Right. So I'm not you know, even tripping. Now we got, you know, a Ample's, warm place to warm do it. Warm place to do it. We're not outside. <laughs> We're, We're not, not outside. cramped up we're in not your... in the garage. Exactly. We're, you know, Nicole's we not had, mad at us anymore. Nicole's not mad at us because we're making noise. But believe it or not, we had Garrett's car, the El Camino, and everything you see in here besides the charger yeah. in a two car garage. Yeah, it's it's pretty impressive. I mean, this is a this is a pretty nice size space and to consider like I said all this stuff, all these parts minus a couple new things, but most of these parts, the plasma yeah. table, all these all the steel was in the garage. This 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 uh, air, air compressor, compressor was everything in was yeah. in a two car garage and I really looking at it now, I don't know how I don't know how it was all in there. I'm a pretty good pack right Yeah. <laughs> but now yeah. he's got space. It's going to be an awesome spot. He's going to have lifts. He's going to have, he's obviously got his plasma table. Yeah. He's going to have his, he got two benders and all kinds of stuff. So um, if you're in the Southeast area uh, or whatever, this is your guy. He does fabrication, metal work, cuts parts, makes anything. He's your guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I trust him with my stuff. You can trust him with your stuff. It's only a handful of people I trust with my stuff. So there you go. Yeah. So there's that. And this thing is pretty cool. A lot of you guys may know who used to own this just prior, which was Rutledge Wood. Correct. Um, he, you know, he hosts stuff on Motor Trend, does a lot of TV stuff. But you may not know who owned this before. So tell us about who owned it before him. Uh, Kyle Petty used to own it before. And what, they, what I was told is it was his high school car. Like, I don't know when it was made a wide body or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But... It is currently a wide body. Yeah. Um, I've been underneath it a little bit, and the way it was done is very good. Cool. So. Yeah, guys, this is this is a <clears throat> wide body. I don't know if you can you can see like right here. It's got a pretty decent bulge coming right here. It's not, and it actually is a wide body in the front too. Yeah. Wide body in the front. It's got a nice little bulge to it. Got some forge line wheels with some wheel wood brake calipers, big old brakes, big old wheels. 295s in the back one thing i love about this car is it, it is got that funky angled pistol grip shifter oh i love this it's not straight it's like got a curve to it so that two three shift boy you got you pack a sandwich between that shift if you could do that without taking a bunch of time you're a, you're a g in my opinion hearst and all that good stuff 
Got the clock in the dash between the or clocks on the out no on the inside. Clocks on the inside and it's missing the tack needle. That's why it's missing. Oh okay. So, yeah. Gotcha. And what's it what's powered? See, this is what I thought I didn't pay that much attention to this car, but from what I understood, it had a Gen 3 like 6'4, 392 Hemi swap, but it doesn't. It actually has 383. A, well, yeah, I was gonna do a little like, dun -dun -dun, I was gonna, well, dun -dun -dun. yeah, whatever. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I gotta find the as we find the hood latch. There it is. Boom, dun -dun -dun, 383. Boom, 383. Yeah, <laughs> yeah good old 383. Willwood Master Cylinder, Odyssey, uh, battery. Odyssey battery. Got some uh, hooker headers, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, you know, those headers on these. Mopar big blocks are funky how it wraps over the center too. Um, it's a factory AC car. Okay. Now so, is this upgraded AC? Because I don't remember. I, I don't. I, I gotta get in contact with the original builder. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Because I don't so, know. I don't know too much about how the Mopars had their AC. If it ran up here on the top, um, is it RC? Is it is it the upgraded air or is it the old the old style it should air? Should be RC. Uh, one. It's one thirty four A, so it's upgraded. Okay, so it's upgraded air. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, this car, man, it's um, it's not perfect, but it's it's really neat. It's gonna um, be a good driver for the new owner. Yeah. So. Uh, well, you know, I don't new know if owner. I don't know if he wants us to tell us tell us who he is yet. Yeah. But um, he's got a pretty cool Mopar collection. Uh, this will fit perfectly in his collection. We're gonna go up there too. Yeah, we're gonna go up there. So this is kind of just like the intro of the you know to show you the car and kind of the history on behind it. But uh, we're going to actually, I don't know if we're going to transport it all the way up to him or if we're going to meet him halfway and he's going to take it back home. But we plan to make it up to his his shop, garage, whatever you want to call I mean, it's it's a pretty cool little uh, setup he's got going on. It's, it's a showroom. Yeah, it's a showroom. He calls it the Garage Mahal, I think is the name he's given it. But super cool. Uh, he's got a lot of cool cars. Um, I built the very first one in there. Yeah, what, the, the GTX? No, oh, the Roadrunner. Yeah. The, the, okay, so it's a Roadrunner. It's not. A, is it a true Superbird or? Yes. Yeah, oh, it's Super true Superbird. Okay. Um, it's got a what is it, a 472 Hemi? Yeah, no, it's the 446 pack. Okay, it's a 446 pack car, but the GTX with the stack injection is like a is like a Stroker Hemi, is it? Yeah, it's a Stroker Hemi, so it's the 472. Yeah, 472. 472 with a Hellborn uh, is it a, frame connector. Is it a Ray motor. Barton? Is it a Ray Barton motor? No, it's the. It was home built. From okay. A local racer. Got you. Got you. So, uh, and it's a convertible heads. too, which is even yeah, cooler. Yeah, heads. Um, or convertible Conver heads. <laughs> car. That'd be interesting, right? Yeah. Uh, six speed Tremec. Um, it was a fun car. I had my hands in it off and on, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the build. Uh, I was the first one to wreck it. That's cool. I'll, I'll throw that out there. Mm -hmm. um, How does he feel about that? How did he feel about that? He wasn't happy. I'm sure. So, you know, mm -hmm. but it was nobody's fault. There was nothing I could do. Oh, okay. So it wasn't like, it wasn't, you no, didn't it wasn't do it. Like you got hit. Or oh, okay. Going you fast. got hit. I hit a deer. Oh, it, well, see, you kind of can't, you <laughs> really can't control that kind of stuff. I mean, but it's still was it, was it at night thing or was, no, it, it was day. wow. See, day even day more day. so that's yeah. rare because more times than not, you hit deer at night. You know what I'm saying? They get really frolicly and frolic, frolicky and they jump over the road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or they run out in front of you. You kind of can't do nothing about that. Uh, but during the day, that's even more rare. So I mean, I, yeah. you know, you can't. You can I, I guess being. I understand being upset because it happened, but you can't be oh, mad at somebody. Mad at yeah, 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 upset, yeah. You just be upset. Yeah. But um, yeah, this thing's super cool. Um, you wanna fire it up? Sure. All right. Let me take the long way around. Okay. <laughs> Hasn't been fired up. Well, since this morning. Yeah. So like an hour ago. Yeah. Hang with me. Yeah. You know these Mopar big blocks and how temperamental they can be. Look at that. Fired right on up. I won't lie to you guys. So I used to work at a place called Streetside Classics here in Atlanta, and obviously most of the cars there were all classics. They were carbureted, whatever, whatever. I sincerely miss the smell of a carbureted engine, especially when it's cold. Um, and I also miss 
the high idle and you hit the gas and it kicked down and then the lope would come in and the car would shake. I love that about a classic um, carbureted motor, especially big block stuff because the car will actually like shake. Um, love that about that. And then Mopars, I love Mopars, but the problem is, and anybody that knows about Mopars, they're extremely, well, first of all, they're extremely expensive to buy. And then they're also extremely expensive to modify. You take a, you take a Chevrolet vehicle and the platform of even a small block Chevy, and I'm sure you could double or triple the cost of what it would do to build a small block or a big block Mopar. I mean, oh. oh. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. But yeah, and then you can't, I, I, you love the smell, man. Like the smell of a carbureted motor is not like a fuel injected motor. Uh, it's, it's really not that quiet. Remember I told you earlier, yeah, it's quiet. Yeah, it's, No, it's got a nice little rumble to it. Yeah. It's got a nice little rumble to it. Now, I don't know all the specs of the motor. I don't know the cam size. I don't know all that crap, but I mean, it, it hits a nice little lick. Um, it's got a nice idle. You can see when, I still don't think it's fully kicked down. It might be, I don't know. No, I don't think so, yeah. It may not be fully kicked down, but, cause it's not, the car is not really shaking yet. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. No, it's shaking a little bit. But yeah, man, this thing's super cool. We don't have a tag for it, so we can't take it out and show you guys the drivability of it. And we've got something to fix. Uh, Jerry's got something to fix with the steering. Um, I don't know, it needs an alignment or yeah, something. I think it's more alignment. Yeah, yeah. But just wanted to show you guys this car and kind of some of the history behind it. And there'll be another video on it. Maybe we'll do another video if Jerry figures out the steering. We get a temp tag for it. We'll drive it before we okay, send it off wanna, to. You want to go deliver it to me? Huh? You want to go deliver it? Oh yeah, no yeah. doubt. As, yeah, I'm I'm fully game for that. I yeah, mean. We'll uh, yeah, I think the plan was we were gonna go meet him in Nashville and and deliver it there, and yeah. he'd take it back home. Uh, so for sure, whenever that happens, I'm we're down. We'll we'll make a little video out of that. And yeah. yeah. So that's the that's the story of the wide body seventy charger, the mysterious wide body seventy charger, uh, and then a little intro to Jerry's new shop. Um, I'm going on a trip this weekend. When I get back, uh, hopefully we'll I'll, you know I'll come back by and we'll have some updates with the money. Uh, with the cage starting on the cage um, and then whatever a heat and AC and the the cool little fun factor that we're putting in the car uh, for this year yeah, I, keep forgetting about that. I know I don't know why <laughs> it was my idea yeah right it was your idea and I was like I'll get it you know so um, but this car like the Monte Carlo is gonna be super cool when it's done the interior I've already went and uh, went to the shop that is gonna have the interior done I talked to the to the interior guy and we planned out everything um, it's gonna be super cool. Got some really awesome speakers from Hybrid Audio that are coming that are gonna be really good. Uh, okay, now we can talk normally. <laughs> uh, really good speakers. Fixed it. <laughs> really good speaker quality that um, I'm really excited for. I, I listened to the interior, I mean, I listened to the sound um, on a third gen Camaro that they did and only had two eights and a couple of door speakers and some other stuff and it sounded crystal clear. This guy was throwing some like wizardry stuff at me with how he got the speakers to like uh, to to balance properly, like he did some like he said there's like this program that delays the audio in one side of the car so that it matches it hitting your ear at the same time. I was like, what kind of nonsense is that? Have you even yeah. heard of that? Oh yeah, I mean, well, Joey's told me about it. Okay, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, I I, I mean, was the just new, the stuff versus like I don't know. I was big in the stereos in 1995. Yeah. I mean, whole different ball. Yeah, technology is just. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, know, you got to figure that's twenty some years ago. So. Yeah, twenty four years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nuts. So when he told me that, I was just blown away. And like I said, that car was just sounded amazing. So he told me and assured me that the speakers that we're getting are amazing quality. Um, I think I told you guys in the last video, uh, two or maybe I didn't. Two fifteen inch subwoofers I'm getting for this car. Uh, it's gonna slap. Um, but I think what he was telling me was the way he's going to balance it out and equalize everything, it's going to really sound good. So I'm excited because I'm not about a whole bunch of bass and I really want sound quality because I don't just listen to like hardcore, you know, rap music slap, you know, bass slapping uh, rap music or uh, rock or EDM like that. No, I listen, we to, listen to heavy metal. That's well, what we do. he listens to heavy metal. <laughs> um, I listen to everything. I listen to jazz, man. I listen to jazz. I listen to R&B. I listen to uh, really music, like really instrumental type rap uh, that have a lot of a variety of instrumentation and dynamics in the song. It's not just all bass. So to have all that range is really going to mean a lot because I'll get to actually enjoy the sound 
and everything with the car. And I, don't, I still don't know how well I'll be able to hear it with the sound of the exhaust over the car because the car is extremely loud when you're in the throttle. So it'll be interesting to see. I don't know. Yeah, we neither I, one I of us know. know. We have, I do have sound deadening from Vibro Solutions that we're gonna fully do the car in, the, the headliner, the trunk, the floors, the dashboard, the doors. Everything's gonna be sound deadened. I just don't know if it's gonna overcome the sound of the exhaust in this car, because it, like I said, it is loud when you're in the throttle. Uh, I took it out for a rip today, and it just blows my mind every time how loud this car is. So that's what we got. You know, we'll keep doing updates. Uh, and we'll get some good burnouts and something at some point. In time. Yeah, we got to feel out the we neighbors gotta, in the yeah, in the in the, com the This is a new place. The new so. place. We don't want to get Jerry kicked out. You know, I was well, all I'm not around. Get kicked out. I just don't want the cops roaming around yeah, all the time. All the time. Yeah, I I took the car out today, and all around the shop outside the complex, I every time I got on the gas, I was sliding. I left two marks. I. Uh, I like it. <laughs> I love doing that, man. That's the one thing about this car, man. I shake every time I get out of this car because it just it gets to me like that. But like, I think I think like a good day to do something around here is like on Sundays. Yeah, for sure. Know? When there's nobody here. Yeah. Yeah. When I brought sense. this over, it was on a Sunday, and I mean, I wasn't nice. Oh, I'm sure. At all. I'm sure. So. Yeah. Well, cool, guys. Um, I got three percent left. Just wanted to say, all this video was to show you guys a new shop. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna post it. Share it with your friends.